In this video, we're going to cover connecting to Spontania. There are essentially two ways to do this. The first way is via a web browser. We'll look at connecting via the ClearOne homepage, via a web address, simply typing that in, and via a web link that you might have received in an email. The second way to launch or connect to a spontaneous session is with the main Spontanea interface. And we will look at the advanced features available in Pro and Enterprise using Contacts, IM, and Scheduler to make the connection. The first way is to simply type clearone.com into your browser. Then select Host a Meeting. Or, if you're not hosting the meeting, click on Attend a Meeting. You can also directly type this URL into your browser and it will take you to the Attend a Meeting page. Simply enter the meeting ID and your name. Then press Join a Meeting. To host a meeting, click here. As the moderator, you would enter the meeting ID, your login name, and password. Then press Start Meeting. If this is your first time using Spontania on your device, you will be presented an installation page and steps to complete. There is a companion video that covers this process in detail. Otherwise, subsequent runnings of Spontania will immediately take you to this connecting screen and then to the video conferencing call. The second way a Spontania call can be launched is with the Spontania main interface. This was automatically installed when you used host a meeting from the web portal and entered your meeting ID, name, and password. You will also find on your desktop a Spontania shortcut to launch the program. The Spontania Pro and Enterprise main interface also includes three other features. In addition to host or join a meeting like Spontania Standard, there is an option to schedule a meeting, look at a list of scheduled meetings, and also a list of Spontania contacts which includes text messaging, IM presence, and the ability to launch an ad hoc conference call. Now let's return to the meeting panel and take a closer look. The name that you logged in under and your meeting ID is indicated here. You can choose to start the meeting with video on or with video off, allowing participants to manually turn on their video cameras. To password protect a meeting, check the box and enter in a password. To have a password randomly generated, click the cube to the right of the entry box. To join a meeting, click on the meeting ID field, enter the number, and then click join. Clicking on the menu icon in the upper right hand corner will bring up this panel. Clicking on preferences will bring up a list of settings. Here you can do such things as disable chat history, set Spontania to automatically launch when your computer boots up, select your download directory, configure your sound preferences, customize appearance, and set notifications. From this panel, you can also edit your profile, change your login password, log out, or exit this program. Click here for where your file transfers have been set to download. Select to set your interface to one of 12 languages. Open up the complete online user guide for Spontania and open up the About screen. Next, let's look at scheduling a meeting. First, enter a topic or name for the meeting. Select the date for the meeting and also the time. Click to toggle on or off 30 minute blocks of time. Select if you'd like the meeting to repeat 
whether video will be on or off when the call starts. In addition to being able to set a password for the conference room, the room can be set to allow participants to join before the moderator. Before clicking Schedule, determine how you'd like to send out the invites for your meeting. In this case, a meeting has now been scheduled in your Outlook calendar. Clicking on My Schedule will bring up a list of all the spontaneous conference calls you have scheduled. Minutes before the meeting, a reminder will pop up. Now, simply click to join the meeting. Finally, let's take a look at the Contacts panel. This shows a list of everyone in your organization using Spontania. A gray indicator means that they are not logged on. Yellow indicates that they have logged on, but they are away from their computer. Green indicates that they are online and available. This now indicates that they are in a call. In the upper left-hand corner, under your name, you can manually set your online status. You can also create custom status messages. Creating custom contact groups is an excellent way of organizing your contacts. Simply right-click to open up this menu. Here, you can click to create a contact group, launch a text chat amongst the entire group, invite the group into a conference call, initiate a video call with the group, transfer a file to everyone in the group, and even send a broadcast message to the entire group. Creating a new group is simple. Simply click and type in a name for the group. To add members to a group, simply right-click on a name, click Copy To, and then select the group that you want them included into. Click on the arrow beside the group name to expand or collapse the list. Double-clicking on a name will bring up a text chat window. In addition to sending text messages back and forth, you can also click on this icon to transfer a file. Click the phone to launch Spontania in the audio mode, or click on the camera icon to launch Spontania into a video conferencing call.